Hi there everyone, this is Adrian, the exercise specialist from the Leduc Beaumont Devon Primary Care Network. Hope you all are doing well today. Um, for today's video, uh, what I thought I would show you guys is a couple really basic um, low impact traction exercises that you can do for your lower back. So what I mean by traction um, is actual, hi there Luna, as close to Luna comes to join us as per usual. So what I mean, um, what I mean actually by traction is, um, is there will be a force kind of pulling, uh, pulling along your, uh, along your, your spine. Theoretically, you know, um, you know, pulling the vertebrae and the disc apart slightly to relieve some, some, some pressure in there. Um, with the amount of, uh, of pressure I'm showing in these exercises, it's not really going to be any real movement in the vertebrae. Here. That's incredibly hard to do. Um, but um, these exercises can help to, um, you know, potentially relieve a little, a little bit of, of low back stress and tension. Um, a lot of times, things like traction are used for people dealing with, you know, you know, you know, sciatica or other, you know, compressive related symptoms where things are getting squished together in your in your spine, your vertebrae, and your low back in general. And sometimes, and, and sometimes, you know, formal traction is used in places like a physical therapy clinic to actually, you know, try and try and pull things apart a bit, lengthen things, give the nerves a, a, a little bit of space, so on and so forth. So I thought I'd show you two really basic, easy, low impact versions that you can do at home. Um, these are by no means as intense or as effective as what could be done in a physical therapy in, in, in a physical therapy clinic with natural traction machine, but. Um, these are a couple easy options that really anyone can do with some basic stuff. So uh, this shouldn't be used um, to treat or diagnose anyone with any kind of a low back condition. Um, sometimes exercises are used in those kinds of a therapy program, but um, to be assessed and diagnosed and treated properly, please always see um, see a, a, a relevant healthcare healthcare specialist in the necessary field. So uh, as per usual, uh, if you're new to physical activity. If you're returning to physical activity from a, a, a long way off, or if you have a medical condition that might make doing physical activity difficult, please consult with your physician prior to beginning any new exercise program. Thank you. So yeah, so I'll just show two basic quick exercises. It's just going to be a quick, a quick video today. Uh, the first one is going to be what's called um, a banded, uh, pretty much a, a banded traction exercise. I keep looking over at it because I think it's going to break, but. Um, we will see. I didn't. I, I didn't tie it on to my apparatus too well today, so I'm just going to grab that. So, as you see here, I have a band attached to a, 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 attached to an apparatus here. When I kind of sit sit down, as you see, I have a loop on the band here. Right. Um, usually, what I would use is a big kind of circular band, like a really big one. This is like two separate bands tied together. This is all I have right now. I, every, everything else is currently out with out with um, one of one of my clients actually, but for this one, what we're going to do, you to put both your feet inside the band. So you see both feet inside the band, and you're going to bring it up to the back of your knees there. So you see the band is up behind my knees there. Okay, right up kind of what's called your your popliteal fossa there, and and what you, what you want to do is you just want to lift your hips up a bit, and then kind of relax a little bit. Because as you'll see, as you as you notice. The band's pulling me that way. So it is putting a little bit of pressure on my low back. Right? It's pulling my low back that way through my knees. You can bring things up. Sometimes you can put your arms on your low back let your legs hover a little bit, just so it, 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 it pulls a little more. Um, once again, this is a very, very, very low impact version. Um, another version, which might be a bit difficult to do this, to, to do this band, actually, is you put it over your hips. So now I have the band right over my hips, kind of hard to see because it's kind of rolled up, but you see the band's right over, over my hips and going, and going straight down and then you do the same kind of thing. Just lift, lift up a bit, move around side to side slightly, you know, move around, so on and so forth. So you see the, 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 the band is roughly parallel with the ground, it's a bit higher, but, but that's okay, it still does the job here. So it's a really basic, easy way to work on traction for your, for your, for your, for your, for your spine. You can look at holding that for some people hold them for 5, 10, 15 minutes. You know, you just work on your breathing, so on and so forth. It's a, a great movement. Um, the second version that I'm going to show today involves something. So we'll use a chair or a bench. I'm going to use um, this basic table just because of its height. And all you need to do is you're going to put your legs on top of the table. 
as far up as you can go. So, so this table is a little bit short for me, but that's okay. So we're going to come right here. I'm going to get as close under as I can, and then pretty much from, 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 from here, um, you're just going to relax. I'm just going to relax. So usually the table will be a little higher, it'll be about there. But you want kind of the base, watch out Luna, you want kind of uh, the, uh, the, the base of your tailbone just off the ground. Right? Watch out Luna. Just so that, um, just that your little back is able to hang off the ground a, a little bit. So I should be an extra about two inches higher, about right there. But all you do is you sit here. This is a common exercise given to people that are dealing with you know tight low backs and low back conditions. You just lay in a position kind of like, kind of like this, feet elevated, takes the pressure off your low back, and you can stay here realistically as you know as long as you want up into reason, right? So you know, 15, 20 minutes laying like this, nothing wrong with that. Um, sometimes when I've sat in a position like like this, I have fallen asleep. If I slept a, a little bit, you know, too long, then I should be down here, but. Uh, yeah, so try and keep it, you know, 15, 20 minutes at most. And the whole time here, you're just going to lay back. You just focus on your breathing. Watch out, Luna. I got her attention now because I, I took her ball. So you're just going to lay here and you just focus on your breathing. Keep Try and keep it, you know, you know rhythmical. And breathing in and out. You know, fill up your stomach and breathe out. Fill up your stomach and breathe out nice and slow and controlled. And uh, it's a fantastic way to release some of the tension built up in your low back. So yeah, those are just a couple quick exercises I wanted to show you guys today um, on some low back, on some low back, you know, traction and, and, and relaxation movements. Hope you found them helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. Please like the video and subscribe to the to the YouTube channel. My name is Adrian. I'm the exercise specialist at the Leduc Beaumont Devon Primary Care Network. Thank you so much and have a great day.